So I found this thing on my closet and it looks like this. Basically, it's just a metal encasement for these four turning digits. It has this button, it has this knob, and what it does is it counts. So when you press this button, it counts up by one. It changes this digit, rolls it forwards, and you can do that and it'll loop back around to 10. And what the knob does is when you turn it, it's to reset it. So it'll move all the digits at the same time all the way back to zero like this. So you can reset it and count again if that's what you're trying to do. And what I've realized is that there's a couple of things you can do with this outside of, you know, its intended purpose of counting. I was wondering if there were different things that you could do with this. For example, what I tried to do and what I eventually figured out how to do was individually manipulate these digits. What I realized is that it you were able to turn this knob backwards basically to a certain point and you might be able to hear that click once it turns past a certain point. That click right there basically indicates that it's ready to turn the last digit that was rolled over. And in action, this looks like this. If you've modified this digit last, what you can do is you roll back, hear that click, and then you modify that digit individually with just the knob. This works for 10, for example. If you go to this second digit and you roll back, hear the click, you can individually manipulate this column as well, this digit. And I was thinking to myself if there was a good way, you know, to challenge myself. Obviously, it's super easy to get to 9,999 just by turning it. But I wanted to see if I could get to that point and loop back around just by manipulating a single digit. So that's eventually what I did. And you'll see in the next clip, basically, I started out by going all the way, looping around to this, going all the way up to 90 then changing this digit, making it go all the way up to 900, and so on, all the way up to 9,000. This digit's a 9, this digit's a 9, this digit's a 9, this digit's a 9. Every digit gets a 9, <laughs> basically, is the goal. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. I basically did as fast as I could, just because I was super bored. have it. Um, basically, it took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to do this, um, but it was really satisfying to be able to do something quickly. I think after this I really understand like the appeal of speedrunning or something like that a little bit more, just because it's super satisfying to be able to do something, you know, a little faster than the average person, maybe with some extra challenge. Um, but that's basically it. There's a few other tricks you can do. Um, if you modify two digits at the same time, you're able to basically, you know, do the roll back, roll forward trick on the same level, and by uh, doing something like this, if you say wanted to have this digit, you had like 30 when you really wanted 20, you can basically go backwards by modifying the digit and looping it back around. So let's say I just want it to be 0 again, I can just change that single digit to be 0. That's about the full extent of it. Honestly, I was just super bored, so I made this video. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.